Good morning. It is day 12. Can you believe we are halfway? We are at the halfway mark now. So I am going to grab today's trivia and we will see you at the office. All right. I am in my office and so I have my inside voice on. But, and I'll show you what I'm wearing in a minute. But it's a busy day. So, didn't have time to go upstairs. But the lighting in that bathroom is a little, ugh. Anyway, in the song, Frosty the Snowman, what made Frosty come to life? Many did, I think. Many people, there was a few people that had to write. Some people just said had or whatever. But to be very specific, it was an old silk hat so that is what made frosty the snowman come to life an old silk hat and so the question for today is what christmas decoration was originally made from strands of silver what christmas decoration was originally made from strands of silver that's probably an easy one um, as well. Maybe, maybe not. So today, okay, hold on. Let me show you the outfit of the day. Okay, today I'm wearing my cashmere Appleton dress. And so, um, let me see if I can show you. So it's just the, the wrap dress. And today I actually have on black tights because um, again, the temperature dropped and so, I don't wanna get sick again. And people are in the office sick again. Oh. So anyway, so today I brought to work, I'm in, on, on my break or lunch or something, I'm going to read the notes for adjusting the shoulder for the terror jacket. Um, so I brought that with me to work today. And then I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be ready to really dive into this jacket. And then I'm gonna wanna just keep going. As you can tell, plans change. <laughs> and I was gonna start sewing handbags this week. That's gonna happen next week. But um, my thinking is, I wanna be able to just transition into sewing. Um, and so I think I'm gonna spend the next few days, um, of course I'm gonna finish the jacket, but then I'm gonna go on a cutting and preparation spree. Um, I prefer, I have gotten away from this. I haven't done this consistently in probably over a year, and I can tell um, in when it's time for me to sew if I putt putt or procrastinate is because stuff isn't prepared. And so what I used to do is prep what I knew I was sewing. I would have everything cut out, any adjustments, if it was clothes, adjustments, whatever, and everything would just be ready to go. Um, not a lot because I can change my mind on fabrics and stuff. So I don't like to get locked in on, especially for garment sewing, that it has to be this fabric because I chose it and I need to stick to it. So I will be very um, uh, diligent about specifically for clothes, what I knew I wanted to stick with when it was time to actually start sewing. But um, I do know my raincoat and that bowl coat, the fabric, the lining, is, is picked, everything is, is done, um, is selected. All the handbags, everything is selected. The hard, I have the hardware. So what I'm going to do today is go to the dollar store. I'll take you with me. Um, go to the dollar store. I'll do it after work. Um, I just want some. I saw a YouTuber. Oh, I just started following her. She made bags. Um, she used dish pans to put all her handbag prep preparation in and so I was going to do baskets but I really don't have the space for stacking up baskets well I do but it's just not organized enough so I'm thinking I do want to get just some basic square dish pans they're a dollar I need like eight that way I can cut stuff and fold them up put them in a the dish pan all my handbag handbag hardware all that stuff and and uh just have everything prepped so I'm just ready to go. Um, yeah, cause I'm in that mode and I'm ready to just keep going. And if I have to keep pausing um, 
it, it just slows me down. And then I put put and procrastinate. So that's what I'm going to do. So I will take you with me today, later today. And um, I'm just gonna go to head to the dollar store after work and see, I might have to go to two, I don't know, um, and see what I find. So, okay, everybody, we will see you later. Okay, I am heading into this store. It's called Five Below. Everything is supposed to be under $5. And I'm going to look for some containers and I will take you with me. Containers in it. Let's see what we got. This is exactly what I am looking for. But these are five dollars each. Can't get those apart. And then these are five dollars each. Ooh, that's expensive. Okay, so I have to do a voiceover for this because the music in the store started getting really loud. Um, but these just really didn't work. This container was $5. And I know I need eight. $5 is just too much. Just for something that's just going to sit and just house what I need. And the rest of these containers didn't work. So I am going to leave this store um and head to the next store i did see these folding felt ones but no i wasn't looking for anything like that in particular either plus it was still five dollars so that did not work so i am going to head to the dollar tree okay i am heading in here it's called dollar tree Everything in here is supposed to be like a dollar, dollar twenty or something like that. Let's see if I can find what it is I am looking for. I like those but I can't get to them because all these boxes are here so I might have to ask them to move that out the way they do have these collapsible this is not bad it's not plastic it's collapsible hmm I like this size is 11 by 11 that's what these are huh I like this because it's a little shorter see how this is taller this is shorter. I wish, I kind of wish they had this, but this size, but longer. I actually, that's not bad. And if I had this sitting on the shelf, hmm, I'm going to keep looking because they have, now these are, okay, so everything in the store is a dollar, so that means these are a dollar, and I need at least 
eight. And as you can tell, they have quite a bit in here. Hmm. Food for thought. And it looked like they got a lot more boxes in. But I think the largest they have is this 11 by 11. And that can fit, that can fit projects in it. Fold it up, put it in there. Okay, I will be back. Okay, I just ran across these containers. I do have containers to put my hardware in, even if I was making bras and I was prepping. See how it has the three different compartments? I can put my hardware in something like this and put it inside this. I do have some more at home, so I don't need a lot of these. I don't have this exact thing, but I have something very similar. So I'm thinking I'm going to get these and I'm thinking about switching getting the larger one because then I can also use these to prep and put my garments in and it's deeper as opposed to this is more shallow. So this one is 10 by 11 by 8 and this one is 10 by 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So that'll give me for garments somewhere. I can fold stuff up and it's deeper and then even for bra making I can put everything in there put the supplies in there and just set it in there so I think I'm gonna pick up these which they have a whole bunch of right here I think I'll get ten of these so that's ten dollars and get five because like I said I have some other ones at home that are wider and then get probably five of these because I do like this these little compartments that's nice okay I will be back okay I saw these now these are in a different aisle this is for food but it's two containers it's nice and square and this is two for a dollar. I was considering getting this instead of this. I, but I'm very partial to the compartments that this has. Decisions, decisions. But if I got this, I'm getting two containers for a dollar as opposed to this one container for a dollar. And I will save money because then I can get five of these, which give me 10 as opposed to buying 10 of these. That's saving me $5. And so for those in the United States that have a Dollar Tree, this is the type of stuff you can go looking for that can help in your sewing space. Because then they even have these, which is really cute. But they're individual for a dollar so I wouldn't for my purposes I wouldn't get this over this but I am thinking of either getting the square container to put hardware in you know so this a whole hardware per bag or getting this one which is that's a quite a bit larger to hold again you get two and this is square hmm I don't know we shall see and then there's this one which you get three <laughs> so this is getting even better and more complicated Okay, I'm going to keep looking at these type of containers because I mean three, then I only need to buy maybe three and then I'll have nine and I can put hardware and it's deep enough. I can put the hardware and everything. It just doesn't have the compartments, which is fine, but 
We're talking about saving money. I will show you what I decide. Okay, I am home. I haven't even gotten out my clothes yet because I'm getting ready to get really comfortable. But I wanted to come in. It is 6.07. And once I do this, then I'm going to get comfortable. And I didn't get a chance to read the book today because it actually got really busy today um, at work. But I will be able to do that for sure tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday and most people are out of the office or doing other things on Fridays. But anyway, so I will definitely look at that tomorrow because I actually want to make the adjustments tomorrow. Excuse me. And then finish cutting out the lining and then once that that adjustment is made and it works then I can start cutting out my fashion fabric because I want to sew that jacket up this weekend um, over the weekend so what did I end up getting so you saw the different containers and when I talked about the containers that I had some containers already at home so I didn't need a lot they're these they're just clear containers these actually are clear supply containers I got these from uh, office depot so for those who are not in the united states it's a big big box store that sell office supplies like office equipment printers desk um shipping um different shipping materials labels all kind of stuff and they also sell like things like this and this was considered a school supply but the location i got this from was closing and this was years ago so you just never know why you get certain things and <laughs> and you just holding on to them and thank thank god that i did because i want to say i only paid like 25 cent for these probably six or seven years ago and i have like five of these empty um that i can use to put um stuff in so that's why i said i didn't need a lot of those containers from the dollar store um but i still wanted to get some so the ones I decided to get were these. These are the three pack. So this three pack was only a dollar. I bought six, 15, no, I bought 15 things and it came up to $16. So, um, and so these containers is for food, as you can tell, but I'm gonna use these for my, um, for bag making when I get ready to, prep bags and stuff i like the size of them they are let me just tell you 30 ounces 30.42 uh, ounces is the size um fluid ounces the size that it holds and so let me just show you one container so this is one container so that's a decent size and they have the the lids and so I didn't want any um, colored containers because I want to be able to see what's in there. And I don't mind the colored lids. But yeah, I can put my bag supplies in there and put those inside of, let me show you these containers or these storage units, which I thought was perfect. Because initially I wasn't thinking I wanted these and I ended up buying all the ones they had in the store. <laughs> except for the display ones. I wanted all the ones that were packed that was still in the wrapping. I didn't grab the ones that were outside the wrapping. And there were 13. And so again, I bought the um, 10 and a half by 11 inch by 10 and a half. And so for a dollar. So I thought that was a really good deal. And so what you get, just in case you couldn't tell in the store, and again, I'm just using this to put my, when I cut out and prep like bags and even garments, this is large enough. I can fold up, well, the bag stuff, um, I won't necessarily fold up. Well, some of it I, I probably can, but it has the little cardboard bottom. And again, a dollar, you get what you pay for. So you're not looking for anything overly sturdy, but see, the inside there I put that in there and what I can do is put all my pieces in here and everything and just have my container 
sitting in there with all my hardware supplies or if I decide to use this container I can just set that in there and that is my prep and and it has yes the little um handle here too <clears throat> if I stack this on the shelf and I can just pull it off the shelf but um yeah it's like I said it's a little flimsy but it's just a whole prep work that's all it's not anything spectacular um but for the price I'm thinking economical here <laughs> for the price um this is perfect for what I want to use it for and um so yeah that's what I wanted to share I am going to get comfortable I'm going to call it the night and go ahead and edit this video and get this up but yeah I am in prep mode and I prefer to prep things and that's my preference to prep thing in batches but like I said I have really gotten out of the habit of that over the past probably the past year I was really good at you know prepping things in advance not a lot of stuff bags I can go ahead and prep in advance but so far as garments two three uh, pieces I would like to have prepped in advance and like I said so my coats I bought enough so my coats I can put use one basket to put all that prepped in there and it's just stacked up ready to go and I'll probably make room I have room actually to stack these on top of each other against a wall and um yeah and I even like that I can clip whatever the project if everything is in there I can just clip whatever project that is on the front so I know what's in here so I like that or hook I can use you know something a tag I can loop around here and just say what's in here whatever I can do any anything like that so I am happy so I am going to get comfortable I'm gonna call it tonight the night thank you all for all your uh, well wishes and congratulations from the vlog from yesterday I greatly appreciate it so yeah that is it I will see you tomorrow <laughs>